everyone welcome back for another mad about cards and crafts youtube video tutorial today's card features a rainbow of flavors using a new die available in the cottage cut store it is called build an ice cream cone i am going to do a little bit of water coloring so i did cut out several of the ice cream cones as you can see this die builds several different styles of ice cream cones i'm going to take this waffle cone and this is what i'm going to use for my cones today i'm doing a little bit of water coloring so all of those die cuts are cut from Canson xl watercolor paper and i'm using my tombow dual tip watercolor pens. I will link the colors that I used in the description box below. As I mentioned, this is Canson watercolor paper, so I am laying down the color. You can see that I am drawing a little bit of a drip because I wanted that cone to look like it was dripping. Once I add my color, I added two different colors along the outside edge of my ice cream and my cones. I add a little bit of water to this brush so there's no water on the inside. There's only water on the brush tip and then I draw that ink in using that water. It moves really easy. This is a quick way to add color to your die cuts. I wish I had my Cricut mat for this process. I just didn't pull it out and I should have because you can see that with the smaller pieces it's just much easier they don't move around when i put them on my cricut mat but i made it work i went for a rainbow card when i was a young girl i used to love to go to the mall and then my mother would give me some money so that i could always go to the thrifties ice cream shop and get myself a cone and I loved rainbow sherbet, so I thought that this was an appropriate way to create a card by making rainbow ice cream cones. So you can see that I do have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I wanted to share with you that I was being very particular on how I built these ice cream cones. I used the same pieces, but right here, I used wet glue to put my cone to put my ice cream scoop on top of my cone. I needed a little bit of wiggle room and I am trying to make sure that those cones are all lined up perfectly. I want to repeat this pattern so I want my cones to be aligned the same exact way adding them on top of each other and just measuring and making sure that everything is aligned assured me that everything was going to be very uniform on the card. For the stems on the cherries, I add a little bit of green ink and then of course I'm just going over it with that watercolor pen. I added one color, I'm not worrying about shading. I will create the cherries the same way that I did my ice cream cone and my ice cream scoops i add the color along the outside edge and then i just draw that color in so that i have a highlight in the middle this set does come with cherries and strawberries so those little leaves up top that you see those are for the strawberries that i could have used in replacement of the cherries i am not going to glue this so i you certainly can glue it. I don't think it's going to come out, but I just wanted to share with you how this went together. I use my reverse tweezers because that Cottage Cuts die does have, uh, it does cut a slit in the top of the cherry. I insert my stem and then the ice cream scoop also has that little slit. So I have added some foam tape to the back of my ice cream but I made sure not to press it down too tight so that I could slip those little cherries inside my cones. I have a piece of Canson XL watercolor paper again. This time it's been cut to four by five and a quarter inches. I'm going to spritz it with water. I'm laying down some distress inks, which I have also spritzed with water. The colors that I used for this were picked raspberry, wilted violet, carved pumpkin, mustard seed, mowed lawn, and salty ocean. And I just kind of tapped it into those colors, but I wanted more intensity. 
this is just giving me placement for the Distress inks and I'm going to go over it. It'll still have a little bit of that watercolored look because I am going to also spritz this with water, but I'm using my blending brush and those same exact colors going around the card panel to intensify those colors. I really wanted a bright and vibrant card. I was able to achieve it. Um, I was worried about muddying up my panel if I laid down more color. If I had colors that were 100% complementary, I may have let this panel dry and then went back in over the top with the wet ink. But because I had colors that would muddy together, I chose just to add that intense color over the top using my blending brush. This card is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So I will bring in a black top folding card base that uh, has been cut to that size. I wanted that little pop. I think that these vibrant colors are going to pop on that black. And so I chose to add a black card base. I like to have a little bit of an edge going around my cards. I think it adds so much. So here's where I'm adding the water over the top to get those inks reacting. And then I'm using a dry cloth to make sure that I can lift up some of that ink so that I have that um, blotchiness on this panel. I'm going to use my wet glue again and I'm going to add this panel over the top and then we're going to start placing our ice cream cones. I like to start by aligning everything. I am not a measurer. I don't like to use a ruler. I do on occasion, but usually I don't use a ruler. I just try to eye everything. And so I'm going to align these in rainbow order. And once I get them aligned, I'll start with my middle ice cream cone. The, using the middle ice cream cone as a starting point really helps me to build my ice creams and align them on the left and the right side, so from the edges. And I think I just get it a little bit better centered when I start in the middle. This uh, foam tape is from scrapbook.com. I'll link that in the description box below. It's about a quarter inch foam tape and I really like this tape. So here I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment on both the top and the bottom center ice cream cone and then the other ones will go on nice and easy peasy. For my sentiment, I did do that off camera. I had a sentiment from Honeybee Stamps that I just went ahead. It says hello. I stamped it out onto a scrap piece of white cardstock. I inked it with some VersaFine ink and then went over the top of it with that picked raspberry. It's a very small sentiment. I didn't want to take away from my ice cream cone, so I wanted to do something that was just a little bit smaller on the card. And I then backed it with a piece of black cardstock and I cut it down so that it has a little bit of a border. It coordinates very well with that black pattern or with that black cardstock that I have in the background. And it also helps the sentiment to kind of pop um, over that rainbow background. I'm going to add foam tape to that. And once I get that aligned, I'm going to show you the beautiful dimension and color on this card. That finishes it off for me today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you come back. And until next time, have a fabulous day.